Hey, folks, and welcome to our next episode in our Halcyon on Six playthrough. Exciting things that are happening right now are we've got 18 days to go and get this. This thing is moving at a snail's pace towards us with the giant tier six monster attached. Slightly concerned about it, but should probably be all right. Let's just check how our ships are. I don't think they're really hurt at all in this area. Uh, a little bit here and there, but nothing serious. We do have tier 3 ships. It appears that tier 3 is the best that we can get. So, what we're going to do is, because this thing moves so slow, we're going to run all the way over here and we're going to attack this with our main fleet and we should buy, and we should be back in time for Christmas. Anyway, because we are about 4 or 5 times as fast as they are right now. Bunch of tier 2s over in this area. Tier 2s are not exactly a threat against the stuff that we have here. So let's just di uh, dip this out and get ready for a fight. Alright, crew panic. Shut this down. Haha! -ha! Let's go with a bridge shot here just now. Oh my. What a difference the tears make, I say that. Yeah, it just seems to do extra damage when it exploits. Brace! Let's see, we don't have sensors down or anything here. <clears throat> what we do have, though, is we should really be putting this on. And let's smack with this. The sheer amount of damage that we'll have coming off of these is huge. Oh, that was quite a bit of damage, speaking of huge damage. This guy died over time, which is very good for us. Yeah, let's get the vulnerable set up over here. We can pick that off anyway. Nope, okay, engines down then. Knock out his engines. Screw him up a little bit. That does mean that we get to blast away here. Man, I love that ability. It's so good. We are warping the very fabric of space. Let's do an all attack. So this isn't going to do extra damage as such, but it will do damage to each of these areas, which is good for us. Or each of the people, I should say, rather than each of the areas. sensor butt this guy and then we'll hit him with a harass man that does so much damage and we should kill it here good stuff what is this facility doing fuel refinery capacity we don't really want to touch capacity so we'll be back soon can see all our stuff is just flooding in here still, which is very good for us. And then we just got to wait for this to do its thing. I'm just letting this get closer just now. I don't... Actually, there is quite a bit of stuff that we could be doing right now. Because with these three, or all these people here, these ones are sitting doing nothing as well. Uh, we should be setting up our material multipliers and all sorts. Right, our people here should be digging out each of these tiles and then these guys should be going so like the science person here which is level nine yeah can still do this so this can be done uh material multiplier can be this one
here. And we should be recruiting extra people wherever we can as well. And then these other ones are doing their stuff over here. <clears throat> Your exploration team has come across a grisly site, a previously undiscovered amorphous molluscoid with large incisions across its exposed hindquarters. The incisions suggest a leecher presence in the area. Let's hunt them down. Your crew bravely pledges to seek out the poor molluscoid's killers. Let's quickly heal these up while we can. It's not like it's an awful lot of hit points anyway. Yeah, these things are going to be a pain in the ass. What's that? Damage resist down and bleeding. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's offset that by putting blood drive on. Now, let's blind all of them. Okay, blinded a couple. That's fine. Well, ghost peppers out then. Ha ha! Feel the power of ghost peppers. Our heels are doing absolutely fine here. Let's speed everyone up now. Hmm. Wow. Very nice. Alrighty. Inflict blind. Let's kill off this little one. Still resisted that. Well, electrocute. I feel like that should be a shock effect with a lightning thing. But ah, eh, what do I know? This is going to do a little bit of damage. It won't kill them. This might. Yep. Nice crit there. Ha ha. Good stuff. Success, Commander. Not only did our exploration forces rid this location of the Leecher aliens, but they were even able to secure the portal from which the Molluscoids must have arrived. It yielded a surprising amount of dark matter. 85? Eh, that's not actually that much. Ground combat health is increased. Handy. It's a very nice thing to get. Right, we cleared out that section, which gives us access to some other stuff here. Immediate 25 morale boost for this. Foundry. Foundry allows the, play, uh, the officers to build advanced equipment. And perform tasks to permanently increase Halcyon 6's maximum station health. I feel like that is very useful to us. How long does it take to clear out another section? Two days? This thing is not going to be here in two days. Show this location. Right, fuel plant is giving us extra fuel, but we really don't need extra fuel. We're doing absolutely fine with all resources right now, really. I suppose I could just pick this up. Yeah, let's just build these, and then in another two days, we should easily be able to finish this before this guy appears. So what are we going to do with this area? I really have no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea what we should be doing down here. I should be able to get more of this cleared. I'm actually doing this so fast because if we're really quick here, we potentially can uh, cl wait, stop this thing. Uh, if even if we even if we die and we lose a lot of our high level people here, it won't be too bad for us. Basically, is what I'm trying to say. Surround the ship with a defensive shield that reflects 50% damage back at attackers for four turns. That could be super, super valuable. What else have we got access to, though? We've also got the 
flux. That's the grey goo thing. Ground power. Alright. Ah, stop clicking wrong. Keep doing that. 5% damage bonus. Uh, we can't really get the rest of these at the moment. Uh, let's see. This gives an increased threat. Increases threat by 200%. That is handy. A stronger salv salvage harpoon is really good too, though. Extra health. Death from above goes up. Death from above goes up. So we don't have any extra brace abilities or anything. In fact, brace is actually just based off of this character, I believe. So we could either go for an extra taunt. I think we want to go with the taunt here rather than the chaos theorist. Oh, actually, we can get both. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get both then. Awesome. What does this do? Dimen uh, dimensional inversion grants the ship increased damage output proportional to how much damage it's already sustained for three rounds. Okay, that's a bit vague, but fine. Useful nonetheless. What else are we doing here? Uh, we could, we've still got a lot more areas that we can clear out. So let's just start, let's just keep clearing. It's getting really close now, so we'll see how this goes. Right. The crew are delighted to hear that the council room is complete. Maybe some of them will be able to sleep at night. The foundry is online. Okay. Yeah, getting access to these is really good. Improved hull integrity. One time upgrade that provides Halcyon 6's hull integrity increased. Right. Cadet engineering overtime. Increased station maximum health by 50. Increases station max health by 75. Battle, batten down the hatches. Increases the maximum stealth. Maximum health by 100. Required. Okay, so that's okay. This is pretty crazy though. An extra hit 100 hit points onto the station. Is that a big deal? I actually don't know. I've not really had any issues with people bombing the station. So I can't say it's that big a deal. But these Omega drones are very good. The captain at level 10 to get access to this. If I had more time, I would definitely be picking a lot of this up. Oh, actually these are only producing a day. Let's go with another construction of that. Another one. Right, that's three of them. That location got cleared out. Fine, that's just a... So we've got a bunch of rooms that we can mess around with if we need to. Uh, show this location, that's fine. So this means that in these ships, so our main ships here, we can look at putting some extra equipment on. Because right now we've got Omega Drone 4s. Sorry, we've got Omega Drone 2s. And these are 4s, which are much better for us. Oh, you can add more than one thing. Wait, how many can these have? Uh, does it say anywhere? I must say somewhere what these are. Maybe it does when I'm building it. I'm not sure. Well, whatever the case, we're going to set some of these up anyway. Yes, this one here. We'll repair this while we can and let's set this drone up again. Yeah, these are much better here. So we're, we're kind of set up for this defense. Uh, all right. Have we got any threats anywhere else? There are literally no missions, although there is a... There is a portal that's just appeared over here, and it does have a tier 4 and two tier 2s on it. That's a worry.
Oh, jeez. It's probably going to fly to here still. Yeah, it's got... In fact, we've got quite a bit until we have to get there. Oh, what's this? Indoctrinate your crew with hollow vids. Crew morale goes up by one every other day for 24 days. This task becomes more difficult and expensive every time it's executed. Alright, okay. So each of these is just a higher level... Throwing a wards banquet to raise crew members that have gone above and beyond the call of duty. Yeah, fine. We're, I mean, we're at 100 morale crew, uh, crew morale. So we've got... Res oh, wow, we get loads of resistances and everything. It's pretty nice. Once we get our people up to a higher level as well, we can look at extra crew gubbins over here. How long is this going to take if we were to put this person in here? Only a day. Transwarp improvements. So that would increase our speed again. Ah, oh, apparently I messed that up. And I didn't do it right. Whoops. Okay, whoops. Clicking off in the wrong places again. Let's get this self-heal thing going on. Right, our ships need to be in position now, so let's get our main fleet. And we're going to have to repair everything that's not repaired and get them out into position. For this engagement. With this super ship. <clears throat> so we've got like 3,000 and 1,000 heals that we can do on each of these areas. That should help us a little bit. I still don't know exactly what these ships can have on them. It doesn't cost us any fuel to go out there. We are dropping morale, apparently. Right, let's get ready for this. The Hrull we detected days ago have arrived in our space. Moreover, it's split off into multiple supporting fleets forming some kind of psychic grid. The central fleet, which has taken bombardment position, is made up of a single massive vessel as long... As long as it is bombarding us, we will lose crew and morale. The four su supporting fleets are each providing a layer of protection for the central fleet. Our science team has hypothesized that as long as the supporting fleets stand, the super vessel bombarding us will be functional, uh, will be functionally invulnerable to our attacks. All right. What this means is we're going to have to chop up these other people and do some different tasks with them right now. Because what we're going to do is... Where is our foundry? Because I might well need to, to use some of these hit points then. That's not... Is that what I wanted? This is level 7. We are going to set up this guy here. So, he's going to be getting extra hit points built into the station in three days. So, wait, where the heck? Does that mean... This? Okay... So I'm confused then. Where the heck are the fleets? Is this it? It said there were four fleets, but I don't see them. All oh, right. Okay. So they're all going out to these spaces. So we're literally getting bombed the entire time. And have to just keep on repairing. Where's my fleet gone? All right. This one gets here first. No, it doesn't. This one gets here first. So we'll send our main fleet to here. Uh, as the Krull Chim uh, Chimera's minions must be destroyed first. Sorry, all of the Krull Chimera's minions must be destroyed first. Creatures like this are what destroyed humanity. It's time to exact revenge. The interfold field 
pre uh, permeating this entire area helps serve as a ready-made three-dimensional model of the battlefield, lessening the need for sensors. Right, okay, so resistance to sensor offline is a lot higher. These are all tier threes, I believe. Yes, they are. Man, this is going to be tough. Okay, I was going to hit them with a sensors offline thing, but there's no point. Okay, well this is kind of weird. <clears throat> I am going to have to repair probably in between some of these engagements, so this is a bit annoying. We've got supercharged polarity set up here. Right, they've all been taunted. We have a massive threat on this person, so putting some sort of defense on there could be very valuable for them. But right now, we want to just keep focusing on doing extra damage where we can. Right, that's doing like 500 damage a turn right now. Okay, uh, this should be fine. We're going to put a reflective shield on here. Wait, this ship could get blown up actually. Are you kidding me? I'm going to have to use a heal here just to make sure. Yeah, that would actually have killed her there. Ah, I've not used their defense yet. That was kind of silly. Well, it was so much for taunt, because that did basically nothing. Alright, our heals are back under control again. What the hell? This one's going to act next. I may have to heal this again. We're getting really cut up here. Okay, what can I do? I think I'm going to have to heal here. And I need to stop being on the back foot and just go for sheer damage. Um, killing this is the best thing I can do. I actually use brood pods. Well, wow. let's go for another adaptive armor. It did have one turn left, but. It was better to reactivate it there while we could. <clears throat> while I remember, let's do this. I need this to die. Okay, good. Right, let's focus on this one now. Bullseye this. Okay. 
Okay. That torture has hit here quite hard. And now... What is this? So it doesn't have bowling ball or chaos beam right now. I'm just going to get that to hit me here. Let's hit it with engines down. It's not going to do an awful lot, but it is worthwhile hitting it with this. Sensors offline doesn't do much. Okay. This is really scary here. This is just one of four of these fights. And this used up almost everything that I've got here. Let's try and reduce this guy's... Yeah, good. We've delayed him. Should finish it. Okay, one down. Let's get back to base. Uh, we are only at 300 odd hit points. I need to finish these so fast here. Counselor training at 3. Reduce damage output of all enemies by 15. Auras take effect immediately. Okay. So it reduces damage. Kind of valuable. Uh, let's also look at getting... Don't care about that. Tear gas isn't that big a deal. Man, what else have we got to go here? We actually kind of have to get this. And then I'm going to have to go down this route and start snapping these up. Into the fray at level 2 is good. That's very useful. Um... Oh, Nano Restore it too. That's very valuable. And I think we want to get the Ablative Field over here. Alright, okay. Right, I'm very concerned here. That's like almost 200 hit points that are gone here. And I don't think there's an easy way to repair this. Uh, is there a repairing facility that we can do? I think there might be one in that section, so maybe we can do that. Uh, let's just have a fly out and try and get these other ones while we can here, I guess. We can actually use the, the two sets of fleets to go out and do both of these at the same time. So, potentially we can just smash apart two of them at once. Uh, that could be an option here. Let's just, uh, yeah. So let's head this lot out to do this one. And rather than trying to repair the actual station in time. Although maybe I can. I don't know. It's hard to say. Improved hull integrity. One time upgrade that provides 25 hit points. If we use this person here that's not really been doing a lot otherwise. We give them extra science. That could work for them. Because all they're doing right now is making dark matter. And we've got quite a lot of dark matter. So it might be better if we just go down a different route here. Yeah, I think this is probably a good idea if we do this. So what we're going to do is... Our foundry here. Improved hull integrity. It's going to take a wee while because this person's not specifically designed for the job. It'll take two days but it'll give us a little bit of extra hit points back here. And then if we get our other fleet to go out and attack another of these areas. This is like a double tank area. And this is like a double attack area. Uh, I feel like the double tank is probably the least dangerous. So let's send our odd job fleet over here. To go and attack this one. At the same time. 
and potentially we might be okay at this. Okay, right, let's go in with this thought then. Man, this is scary. Anyway, I'm going to have to finish up the episode here because we're a wee bit over time. But thanks for watching, folks. We'll see how this goes in the next one. Very interesting engagement, this. I was not expecting it. It's, it would be nice if we'd had a wee bit more indication, but it's been kind of cruel to us just now. Let's see how it goes. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now.